Gathas in Praise of the Buddha Amitabha, composed by Dharma teacher Tan Luan, translated into English by Charles Patton. Nama to the Buddha Amitabha. Verse 1. Presently in the West, past this world, beyond ten thousand Kodis of Ketras, there is a land of peaceful happiness. There the Buddha, the world-honored one, is called Amitabha. I vow to be reborn, take refuge, and prostrate myself there. I vow to be reborn with the sentient beings in the land of peaceful happiness. Nama to the thought of taking refuge in and prostrating to that western Buddha Amitabha. He became a Buddha by passing through ten kalpas time, and his lifespan from now on is without any measure. The light of the Dharmakaya spins out to pervade the Dharma Datu. Because it illuminates the darkness of the world, I prostrate myself. I vow to be reborn with the sentient beings in that land of peaceful happiness. Nama to the thought of taking refuge in and prostrating to that western Buddha, Amitabha. The brilliant light of his wisdom cannot be measured, and so that Buddha is also known as infinite light. I vow to be reborn with the sentient beings in the land of peaceful happiness. Nama to the thought of taking refuge in and prostrating to that western Buddha, Amitabha. The light of liberation spins out unrestricted and uniform, and so that Buddha is also known as boundless light. Concealing that light, sensation parts ways, and there is nothing, and that is why I prostrate myself to the equanimity of awakening. I vow to be reborn with sentient beings in the land of peaceful happiness, Nama, to the thought of taking refuge in and prostrating to that western Buddha, Amitabha. His light is fast and unobstructed, like space, and so that Buddha is also known as unobstructed light. Everything that has obstructions conceals the light's blessing, and that is why I prostrate myself to the difficult to conceive. I vow to be reborn with the sentient beings in the land of peaceful happiness. Nama to the thought of taking refuge in and prostrating to that western Buddha, Amitabha. His light of purity shines without opposition. And so that Buddha is also known as unopposed light. The karmic bonds of those who meet this light are removed. And that is why I prostrate myself to the ultimate refuge. I vow to be reborn with the sentient beings in the land of peaceful happiness, Nama to the thought of taking refuge in and prostrating to that western Buddha Amitabha. The brilliant illumination of that Buddha's light is the very best, and so that Buddha is also known as the King of Brilliant Light. The darkness of the three hellish paths conceals the light's edification, and that is why I prostrate myself to that great arhat. I vow to be reborn with the sentient beings in the land of peaceful happiness, Nama, to the thought of taking refuge in and prostrating to that western Buddha, Amitabha. His bright and clear light of enlightenment is the transcendence of form, and so that Buddha is also known as pure light. The wicked defilements of one who experiences the illumination are removed, and it is because they are liberated that I bow my head. I vow to be reborn with the sentient beings in the land of peaceful happiness. Nama to the thought of taking refuge in and prostrating to that western Buddha, Amitabha. His light of compassion is distantly inclusive in giving peace and happiness, and so that Buddha is also known as joyous light. In the places where that light reaches, the Dharma is enjoyed, and that is why I prostrate myself to that great peaceful consolation. I vow to be reborn with the sentient beings in the land of peaceful happiness. Nama to the thought of taking refuge in and prostrating to that western Buddha, Amitabha. That Buddha's light can destroy the darkness of ignorance, and so he is also known as Light of Wisdom. 
because the three vehicle congregations of all the Buddhas all together praise them, so too I prostrate myself. I vow to be reborn with the sentient beings in the land of peaceful happiness. Nama to the thought of taking refuge in and prostrating to that western Buddha Amitabha. His brilliant light pervasively illuminates at all times, and so that Buddha is also known as uninterrupted light. Because of the power of hearing this light, the thought is uninterrupted. Because they are reborn there, I bow my head. I vow to be reborn with the sentient beings in the land of peaceful happiness. Nama to the thought of taking refuge in and prostrating to that western Buddha Amitabha. That light is, except for the Buddha, not fathomable. And so that Buddha is also known as difficult to conceive light. The Buddhas of the Ten Directions praise rebirth, and because they commend its merits, I prostrate myself. I vow to be reborn with the sentient beings in that land of peaceful happiness. Nama to the thought of taking refuge in and prostrating to that western Buddha Amitabha. His spiritual light is free of marks and cannot be named, and so that Buddha is also known as inexpressible light. The origin of his light is the achievement of Buddhahood's shining radiance. Because of the Buddha's praise, I bow my head. I vow to be reborn with sentient beings in the land of peaceful happiness, Nama, to the thought of taking refuge in and prostrating to that western Buddha, Amitabha. The brilliance of his light surpasses the sun and moon, and so that Buddha is also called light that transcends the sun and moon. The Buddha Sakyamuni's praise and honor is unending, and that is why I prostrate myself to his unequaled equality. I vow to be reborn with the sentient beings in the land of peaceful happiness. Namo Mita Bodhs. Namo Mita Bodhs. Namo Mita Bodhs.